Hey guys, today I would like to show you how to downgrade back from beta version into an official one. Uh, like I have here the iPhone 8, it is on 14.6 beta 3, it is in a beta version. And if you have already updated like I did here, you can just downgrade back without losing any data. Now I'm gonna show you the process one by one. And like you see on my iPhone 8, I have some apps that has already installed on my device. And after downgrade, you will still see uh, all of these apps. They will not uh, delete after the downgrade. First, you need to download a software called 3U Tool. The link can be found in my video description. And then uh, make sure you connect your phone into your PC. And then all you have to do is just go ahead and go into Flash and Jailbreak. Now you're gonna see 14.5.1 uh, up to 14.6 Beta 3. I'm on my iPhone 8, it is on 14.6 Beta 3, so I'm gonna downgrade back to 14.5.1 official. This video brought to you by AppTrend. AppTrend allows you to quickly transfer app and app data from iPhone to iPhone or from iPhone to PC. And you can transfer app data including WhatsApp, Line and Viber and many more. Not only that, you have ability to restore backup data or you can backup data from your iPhone into your computer and you can even install apps into your iOS devices. One more thing, if you want to transfer data from your iPhone to Android, you can upgrade app trend. More information can be found from the link in my video description. Um, with this process, uh, there are two methods. So the first one, uh, you can download, just download directly from the software itself. But if you have already downloaded an IPSW outside 3U tool, you can just go ahead and import. And I'm gonna link the IPSW file for your iPhone as well. Uh, it is down there in the video description. Now all you have to do, just hit on import. And then uh, you're gonna find your IPSW file. So for me, I place it on my desktop. All I have to do is just um, hit on open. After it has been imported, um, at the bottom you're going to find retain user data. Uh, this option uh, must be checked uh, because uh, we don't want to lose our data from our iPhone. Make sure you have checked this option before you click on flash. Now um, uh, we have already done it, hit on flash. And it also asks you to uh, back up your data first as well. Now you're gonna find some sort of detail uh, where you can see a uh, firmware version. Uh, we have 14.6 and downgrade to 14.5.1. Now lastly, hit on flash. Now all you have to do is just wait for this process. And one more thing that I would like to mention, make sure your PC is connected to Wi-Fi as well uh, while you are doing this process. After that on 3 u tool, you're gonna see a congratulations message, but you have one more step, which it is going to recover all of your data back uh, after you have downgrade. So uh, you're gonna see the progress bar on uh, your iPhone. So all you have to do is just wait for this about five to 10 minutes, depending on your phone. Okay, now it has been completely downgraded. Um, if you take a look on the app on my iPhone, it is still there. Um, if you check, um, it is still working. Now um, let's go ahead and check the version inside setting. So now let me go to setting. And then um, if you check here, we have 14.5.1, which uh, we have downgraded from 14.6 beta 3. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope this video will help you. Then I will see you guys in the next one.